It wasn't that bad. It was pretty bad. I only lost one finger. That's <laughs> where you lost him. <laughs> What's up, everybody? My name's James. And I'm Matt. And this is WindyTube. And today, we're going to blow you away. <laughs> Everybody. Hi! Welcome to episode 10. Oh, I did it! Yeah! First things first. We do have one shout out we are gonna give James. Miss Emma Jane Moorender, this one's for you. She comes to us from the Australia. Australia! Good eye. It's a great watch shark! Oh, I'm gonna eat kangaroo food. That's, that's, that's a pain. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure that's a delicacy out there. That's for you, Emma. We'll give you a shirt whenever we get them. Today, we're going to be talking a little bit about Sky Helmets Germany. And a certain way to carve around a tunnel. Leonid Volkov is going to be showing us a thing or two. A little bit more Russian on that when you say it next time. <laughs> Leonid Volkov. There we go. Sky Helmets in flight. Boo! Afternoon delight. Ooh! We reached out to Mr. Paul Hiller of Sky Helmets Germany. I would say I call it the latest trend in helmets. You may have recognized it sweeping the world competition over in Montreal. It had everyone by the tongue because no one could really identify what is that helmet? What is it doing? Who are those people and what are they wearing? It drummed up enough attention that at the moment, the wait list from most people, if you look online, is close to forever and a little bit close to infinity before you finally get your hands on one of these beautiful helmets. But it's well worth the wait. These are not only impact rated, unlike another well-known brand. Cookie Monster, who are you thinking of? <laughs> I don't know. Well, they're impact rated, they're stylish, and they're full face. And the locking mechanism on the visor itself is far superior from what most people who wear these are saying. The DB7 model, I believe most people are wearing nowadays, mm. coming in two colors, carbon fiber, which I realize isn't a color, and white, which again, most people would argue isn't a color. <laughs> it's guaranteed to keep you safe. That's all you need uh, Yeah, and be cool. It's uh, definitely more aerodynamic than the more popular cousin. Mm. Uh, again, Cookie Monster, who is that? Which is something they actually told us that they were going for. They wanted a more overall aerodynamic design from every angle. That's a team of engineers and designers coming together to really make a product that speaks to an industry that they're in love with. Exactly. They're all flyers themselves and they speak with friends, flyers, professionals, and they take that opinion and they move it into their customization of the helmets and they try to incorporate everybody's needs uh, and desires into these helmets. And from what it sounds like from our brief interaction, they're definitely heavily uh, leaning towards quality over quantity. In an industry where a lot of things seem to be very cookie cutter, it's kind of refreshing to see somebody taking the time to slow it down mm. for all the good reasons. Sky Helmet strikes me as a company that's got a slow burn with a big vision. Exactly. Uh, it's not as ubiquitous as some other brands just yet, but I think that'll change by this time next year. I agree. So this one's for you, Paul, and your entire team. Mwah. Keep going. Fly on, brother. Hey, I got this package in the mail. What? It's from Sam E. Check this out. Oh! Hi, I'm Sam Ian. Here I'm today I'm asking people if they've heard about WindyTube. Excuse me, excuse me, sir, have you heard about WindyTube? Excuse me, sir? And now onto something very, 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 very weird and entertaining all at the same time. Everyone's favorite Leo Bolkov came out with a very special video that he released on his TunnelSport.com channel. James, could you break down for us the name of the video. The name of video. We couldn't make it up if we tried, people. De debriefing. Bumblebee carving from front transit to jet fighter. Do yourself a favor. Watch this flight and study. Wind to belly. Arms and legs push very. Feel your body. Watch this fight and start it. Bumblebee Carve, ladies and gentlemen. It's an interesting take on debriefing and trying to teach people how to fly in the tunnel. Steaming up the viral charts. At this point, I would track this up with the troll video. Uh, I've definitely seen this on before. We'll, uh, we'll put the links down below, as well as the uh, tongue acapella group, I want to say it. Every kind of viral video that comes out of Russia is weird, and Leo, in the same vein, decided not to disappoint. There's a lot going on in the video. Uh, most importantly, as you see Leo just being... Leo, really. I mean, I, th I feel like we got hints of this mm. at the world competition uh, with him dancing in the 
antechamber. We should have seen the signs then. We should really. have seen the signs that he was only gonna just go off the rails. His creative cancer has progressed to stage four Teletubby. <laughs> if you... <laughs> He's the same width and height of a fanoodle. He looks like a Justin Timberlake, but he sounds like a Hasselhoff. His voice sounds like he's growing a beard in his throat. Is he trying to get on Winnie Tube? Because this is how you get on Winnie Tube. His balls dropped when he was two, and they just keep going. It's like if interpretive dance and a vodka-fueled nightmare collided on the freeway. He sounds like he's been drinking since the age of seven, but he's got the voice of my angry stepfather. He looks like Justin Bieber face f***ed Miley Cyrus's haircut. Wind to belly, arms and legs push very. Feel your body, watch this fight and study. Okay, my friend. If you look at tunnelsport.com, you'll see a variation of this kind of crazy <laughs> on there, uh, which also includes at one point uh, Leo phoning himself to talk to himself to go help himself with his own flying. It's Nuts. Leo Volkov, one of the best flyers in the world, is not only championing the tunnel flight and breaking down barriers in freestyle, but he's uh, creating new barriers in abstract art videos. Tunnel flying to the next level. In the end, mad respect to Leo Volkov, his creativity and his flying. And I can tell you for damn sure, I'm gonna be trying this in my next shift, so. Sorry for my first timers, my demos are gonna be very bumblebee for the next couple of months. <laughs> What did you think of Bumblebee Carve? Leave a comment below. In lieu of our uh, now almost defunct flails and winds, we're just going to be showing you our favorite parts of Leo's Tunnel Sport website. Help him to find himself. That was episode 10 of Windy Tube News. Thanks for joining us. I hope you feel a little bit more informed. And if not, we don't care. Send the angry letters to 1 800 I don't give a f. We'll uh, be catching you on the next episode. We'll be talking about scrotums, shoes, and the women who love them. <laughs> Thanks for playing, guys. See you on the next one. Peace. Do you think that she wears sky helmets? I don't think she has in the past, but she may in the future. Do you think she can bumblebee car? Oh, she can bumblebee car circles around us both, my friend. One-handed. <laughs> Eating a hot dog. <laughs> Made out of dingo, mate. <laughs> it's a barracuda, oh. mate. <laughs>